Hey friends, Jesus spoke on prayer in the Sermon on the Mount, and uh, before teaching his uh, disciples how to pray, he told them, he, he, he shared with them these thoughts. He said, when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by men. Tell you the truth, they've received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who's unseen. And your Father, who sees what's done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they'll be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. He goes on to say, For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. In other words, if we want to be reconciled with God, again, not in, in terms of eternity, but in terms of of being in a right relationship with him, being in fellowship with him, experiencing his blessing. We've got to forgive others as God has forgiven us, right? And when we pray, we should seek to honor his name, that it be hallowed, uh, that it be respected and honored as holy, and certainly in our lives, and pray that his kingdom will come as will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and certainly that entails me bowing my knee to his will and say, not my will, but your will be done. We can pray that he provides for our daily bread, our daily needs, uh, uh, but but we, we need to live in a spirit of forgiveness toward others, even as he's forgiven us. And then praying, you know, watching and praying as I've been preaching on that uh, he protect us from temptation's power. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil and from the evil one. Uh, we have the world and the flesh and the devil that we're fighting against, and, and we need to pray. And this is a model for praying. From the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 5, uh, 6 rather, verses uh, 5 through 15 today. Be encouraged.